fundamental. Madam Deputy Speaker, the IFP member who served on this committee has resigned. And I was given the file and it took me only a few minutes to discover that this plan is a rip-off of the consumer. The amendment bill has been wrecked with controversy since its inception. It's been the subject of heated debate and robust exchanges between government, public, labor and business. It was withdrawn to pressure from opposition parties at one stage and is still today widely rejected. At the heart of this bill is the Etoll saga, and by becoming law, this bill confer the necessary powers upon Sanro to enforce payment of tolls. In particular, the Gauteng Freeway Improvement Plan has been diametrically opposed by all sectors. Kosatu members remain ready to embark on a massive campaign. Should he do not Honorable escape? Deputy Speaker. Honorable Deputy Speaker, I think the members, they are really out of order here. Uh, if you listen to the chair of the committee, Honorable no, Deputy no. Speaker. No, Deputy Speaker, they are, they are discussing, that's why they keep on co 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 coaching the, the Minister of Finance because it's about the e tolling and the bill is not about the e tolling No. Continue, Honourable Member. I agree with you. That was not the point of order, but nonsense. Mr. Speaker, Member, this bill, if it be becomes careful. law, will drive yet another nail into the coffin of an already stretched taxpayer. Business will also suffer and will have no option but to pass these costs on to the consumer. That's you and me. And then the effect will be that we pay twice to be on the roads. The projected operational cost of the system remains outrageously high, and one can only wonder qui bono, in other words, who benefits, not the consumer. Deputy Speaker, the IFP, like all other political parties, and together with the people and business of South Africa, call for the scrapping of this plan. It is simply, simply unaffordable to the citizen of South Africa. Government, it is clear, has its back against the wall. The PIC has already acquired billions of rand in Sunral's bonds. The government employees' pension fund holds financial interest. Who else holds interest? Speaker, you can imagine how many votes the ANC is going to lose in next year's election because of this rip-off of the consumer. <laughs> Speaker, the IFP submits, as from the beginning, that the entire plan has been ill-conceived and poorly planned. We do not support the plan, we do not uh, support the bill, and instead of waiting to vote next year, we will be voting today against this bill. Honourable yeah, yeah. <laughs> Olamisa.